back to Smart Mouth Beauty. Heather here today, and this is part two of our brow series. If you missed part one, we've got it linked down below where Holly does a very sculpted brow, and she goes into the history of why she does her eyebrows the, the way that she does. Her eyebrows are very sparse, and then she's had surgery, so her eyebrows are, are very different than mine. So, um, but today we're going to talk about my eyebrows and a little history. I have a unibrow. I know, I know. And I have dark hair. Holly was blonde when she was she was a kid, so her eyebrows came in much lighter than mine, but my hair is very dark, and I can remember when I was nine years old, I have to try to find a picture if I can. When I was nine years old, I was in, I had the grown out Dorothy Hamill, also known as bowl cut, and a unibrow, and had not had braces yet, and it was, it was not a good look. But if I don't wax or tweeze my eyebrows, it it will literally grow into my hairline. It'll grow from here to here and down here and up here and down here. Yeah. So, unfortunately, my sister is a hairdresser and she waxes me quite often um, and helps me to form the arch and the shape that my eyebrows are in. And so I'm very grateful that she cleans everything up. But for every day, I do, even though my eyebrows are really thick, I do like to fill them in. Um, it just kind of makes it look a little bit more polished, has a little bit of a sharper line, but it's not a sculpted look. What Holly does is a, is a more dramatic sculpted look. Um, generally speaking, she wears more makeup than I do. And so I always go for a more natural look and I do a more natural brow, but I still want it to look polished and filled in. And for a couple years, I've been using the Anastasia Brow Wiz and recently found what I believe to be a dupe, which is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And NYX um, is available in some drugstores and, and is also available at Ulta. In fact, I bought this yesterday. I bought two um, because they were, I think they were $9.99 at Ulta and then it was buy one, get one 50% off. So good deal. And you don't want to be without it because that happened to me this week. If you follow us on Instagram, which you should, we post almost daily on Instagram, um, this went out with no warning. That's my only negative comment about this and about the Anastasia Brow Wiz. No warning at all when it is going out. And then all of a sudden, you're trying to get ready to go to work and you've only got one eyebrow done and you don't have any more product. <gasps> and then you contemplate calling in. But. So that's why I bought two. I bought two and I was gonna buy two regardless of what the price was, but it helped that it was on sale. And so I bought two. So let's get started. We're gonna zoom in in just a minute and I'm gonna show you my natural everyday look and how I pencil on my eyebrows, so stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna get started today. Um, I'm gonna put my hair back so you can see what's going on. Typically when I do my eyebrows, I am, I do it earlier in the makeup game. Right now I have on all of my makeup and we're just going to do, do my brows. But um, ordinarily I will do my brows before I do my eye makeup. I don't know if there's any, any rule against that, but it's just, it's just how I happen to do it. So the first thing we're going to do today is that this particular pencil that I'm talking about, the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, has a, um, has a spoolie end on one end. So we're going to do that first and we're going to brush up our thick unruly eyebrows and do both sides it's like that and then we're going to open the other end and it's a mechanical pencil and so it rolls up like this and i am using just in case you needed to i didn't say that before i'm using the color espresso um espresso so I'm gonna start here, and you see how I'm holding the pencil down closer to the, to the end, so it's not drawing a really thick, hard line. I'm doing more feathering strokes. And the, the nice thing about this pencil is that it does create little hair lines. It's tiny, it's very, very tiny. So, so unlike what Holly was doing with the sculpted brow, we are gonna fill in any little sparse areas. We're just gonna try to make the brow a little bit more defined but not sculpted, so it still appears to be natural. So we're gonna use this to show, um, or to make little, little bitty hairs. So let's get started. So I usually start here, but I'm not all the way down here at the point because we don't want it, um, we don't want it too harsh. So I do just like this 
bunch of tiny little strokes. I may have gotten too carried away there at the top, so like this. And if it gets a little clumpy, like I think, because this is brand new, I just bought this last night. You go back to your spoolie and you brush through it and it's going to soften that, and soften that look. That's a little bit better. All right, so let's keep going. Just filling in. Notice that I am not really going to the top of my eyebrow and I'm not really going to the bottom. I'm filling in the center where um, you might see a little bit of skin. Again, because my hair is so dark and my skin is so fair, sometimes you can see little hairs. I mean, you can see the skin. And got carried away. Okay, so let's brush brush this up. Take a look at where we are. Now, you can see the difference between this eye and this eye. It's just a little bit more filled in. It's a little bit more polished. It's not anything too dramatic or sculpted. Um, it's just a little bit, just a little bit filled in. So now let's do the left eye. Again, we're gonna start right in here with teeny tiny little motions, holding your hand towards the end of the pencil so that you're not creating a harsh line. Just like this. Now, it, <coughs> excuse me, it does help that Holly has shaped my brows really well with waxing. Um, I tend not to tweeze my brows for shape um, on, a, on a daily or weekly basis whenever seen. When I tweeze at home, I tweeze any strays that come up, anything that comes in down here in my nose, um, things that are that are obvious. But I allow her to really arch and do and do the shape for me because um, I, I can't get them both to look the same way if I tweeze and I tend to over tweeze and I tweeze in the wrong place and then like that. Okay. So we don't, I don't, I don't tweeze for, um, for shape. So let's keep going for this one. Oh, also my eyebrows are so, not only are they thick, they are long. And when Holly does wax my eyebrows, she also has to trim them <laughs> because like she'll brush it up and she'll take the little bitty scissors and she has to trim them because it's, they're just out of control. I wish the hair on my head was as thick as the hair on my eyebrows, but so let's see, they match, we're getting there. So eyebrows, you've heard the saying before. They're not, they're not twins. I think Holly mentioned this in her video. I think in her head they are twins. In my head, they are not twins, but sisters. So, there we go. So, this is basically it. This is what I do on a daily basis. Um, to pencil in my eyebrows. For a natural look so I uh, hope that you've enjoyed this video and if again if you haven't seen Holly's part one video I've got it linked down below let us know if you have any questions or any thoughts on eyebrows um, as we're happy to explore them more because you know how Holly feels about eyebrows you can't make a first impression with bad brow so um, thank you for subscribing um, and if you haven't done so already please subscribe down below and we will see you next time thanks so much bye when are we going to do Paul's brows? That's not going to happen. Right, because you're distracting. Because, like, your, phone your muted phone. Yeah. Mute your phone, bitches. <laughs> Yay! Dead.
Did I miss anything? I think it hit it. Hit that, hit that, hit that. Twerk it, twerk it, twerk it. Oh no, I can't. I have to pee. Okay. <laughs> That's not good. You do not twerk. You're just going to drag your cut on your lipstick. I know. I just watched that episode of Gilmore Girls where they were talking about something. They were talking to, they talk so fast, you know. I mean, he can't keep up. They were talking about driving the getaway car. Lorelai was talking about driving the getaway car, oh, and Rory goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what are we holding up? And she goes, oh, Sephora. Yes. <laughs> Please, I mean, if you're going to hold something up. Yeah, forget the bank. Right, I'm, I'm, like, I don't, I don't need that. Those naked uh, palettes alone are 50 bucks a pop. We could totally eBay them for 35 and make a fortune. Right. I know. I'm with you. Okay. It, you're talking to a girl whose mother insists on putting icicles on her tree like it's 1952 and I was so sick of not being able to find them for her that when I did find them for her I bought like 50 yeah. of them. I went to Walmart which oh. against my better judgment went to Walmart and bought like 50 of them. She texted me the other day because she's already starting on Christmas tree drama that she has 22 boxes left. So like we're entering the danger zone. We are. 